This video is about making an inductive sensor for do-it-yourself pinball machines. Mark the corners of the groove of the sensor body. It helps you to see the very thin wrapping copper wire better. Check whether there is any dirt or filament residue in the groove. If so, these must be removed, for example with a nail file. Prepare the connecting wires. Because this is a sensor with a lamp, three of them are needed. One for the coil, one for the activation indicator and one for the lamp. Wrap the wrapping copper wire around the end of the connection wire. Make sure that with the soldering the insulation of the wrapping copper wire will be melt. Put the connection wire soldered right before into the groove of the sensor body. Use glue at the isolation of the connection wire to fix it. Light activated glue works best. Make sure no glue is put into the groove where the wrapping copper wire will make its turns around the body. Also put the wrapping copper wire exactly around the corner marked before, so it's complete in the groove. Now wrap the wire around the sensor in the groove. 35 to 45 wraps work best. When the winding is finished, glue the wrapping copper wire with glue just before the connecting wire grooves. Now solder the wrapping copper wire to the connecting wire. Make sure that the wrapping copper wire has the right length so that when the connecting wire is glued to the sensor, it is long enough, but not too long. The wrapping copper wire must not stick out of the groove. Here too, the wrapping copper wire must be guided exactly around the corner so that it lies completely in the groove.
After everything is positioned, glue the connecting wire to the sensor body. Now glue the wrapping copper wire windings to the sensor body. Add glue where the connecting wires are loose. Prepare the indicator LED and the lamp LED. Check the LED soldered right before. I use the printed circuit board needed for this inductive sensors. The Grieber file as well the bill of materials for this printed circuit board is included with the sensors and lamps STLs I provide on cults3d.com. To test the coil, use an inductance meter. The coil should have around 40 to 80 micro henry. If a steel ball is placed on the sensor, the inductance should increase by approximately 3 to 6 micro henry. Glue the LEDs into place. If necessary, remove the edge on the LEDs with side cutters.
Now the sensors and the LEDs are checked. The coil and the indicator LED are connected to the printed circuit board. The lamp LED is also tested here with this board. The indicator LED is very useful because the activation of the sensor can be seen on the pinball playing field. Malfunctions or poor adjustment can be identified quickly. Coincidentally, the sensor with the circuit worked immediately here. However, each sensor must be precisely adjusted. The voltage of the oscillator must be measured with and without steel balls on the sensor. The referent voltage must be adjusted exactly to the average voltage of the oscillator voltage. The function can be inverted by changing the jumpers accordingly. For example, to be able to use the printed circuit board for a light barrier. Finally, this inductive sensor works. Thanks for watching.